Hey, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to talk about the plot command to plot more than one function. Specifically, I'm going to do two functions here. So to get started, the syntax. It's very similar to the syntax in the first video we had. We're going to start out with the word plot. And in this case, in order to put in more than one function, we're going to put a list of functions. We're going to surround them with curly braces. And the plotting domain syntax is exactly the same. So here's an example. I want to graph the functions y equals x squared plus 2x plus 1 and y equals 2 minus 3x minus x squared on the interval negative 1 to 3. So just like before, we're going to start out with capital P-L-O-T and make sure that it does turn black when you're done. And to put in the first function, well, we just type it in and then we're going to comma separate this with other functions. And I can have more than two in here, but I'm going to choose two for this example. My plotting domain, it's going to be a list. It's going to be the variable, the smallest value that I want for x, and the largest value that I want for x. I'll do a little shift enter, and I wind up getting my two functions. Now when I'm looking at this, a lot of times I'm going to want to find a picture where I look at all the intersection points. I'll have a video on how to figure out intersection points in the solve command series. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking at this particular plot and I notice that I have a parabola up and a parabola down and they intersect right here. But over to the left, I believe they intersect again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a guess. And for right now, a guess is fine. Instead of going from negative 1 to 3, let me go from, well, let's just say negative 3 to 3. Do a shift enter, and I get my two intersection points there. Like I said in a later video, I'll talk about the solve command to actually figure out those intersection points. A quick recap, P-L-O-T, capital P. I'm going to have my first function and my second function. And I'm going to enclose those in curly braces. And my plotting domain is exactly the same that I had before. Variable, minimum x value, maximum x value. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know.